into temperatures because it's chilly this morning. El Cajon a mere 41 degrees, which has been one of the coldest spots each morning this week. Ramon is at 38, Val Valbrook at 59, 50s for most of us. And the winds, check it out. I mean, I have showed this all week long. It's now calm in Alpine, but notice the arrow, it's green. That indicates that sea breeze. So those winds, not as big of an issue today. That changes again as we head into tomorrow, and things are staying very, very dry. Widespread single digit humidity levels mainly away from our coastline and that's why that fire weather watch goes into effect midnight tonight lasting through 10 a.m. Friday and here's the reason why this little thing right here doesn't look like much but it's going to dive south and when you have a high pressure and a low pressure system you get a little bit stronger winds this looked like yesterday it was going to be moving closer to our area which actually would have increased our humidity now it's going to be what we call an inside slider it's going to go right to the east of us and that's really just going to be increasing our wind so Temperatures through Friday we won't change much, change much. Highs 10 to nearly 20 degrees above normal, as I was just showing you, 18 degrees above normal in Ramona. That fire weather watch midnight tonight through 10 a.m. Friday, and temperatures will drop about 5 to 10 degrees, in fact, from Friday to Saturday. We're in the 60s this weekend along our coastline. 66 is pretty close to where we should be for this time of the year. And then offshore flow does return late Sunday into next week. So we're going to clear out the skies. It'll be breezy and it'll be very dry yet again, and slightly warmer temperatures, though not as warm as what we're going to be seeing the next few days. Still in the 80s for the most part for our inland neighborhoods. The mountains stay in the 60s through Saturday, 50s next week, which is also closer to normal and dropping to the low 70s by Sunday in our deserts.